Here we are back on the old uh, 300E here and uh, we have a minor problem and the problem is when we start cold take it out the driveway and you accelerate the acceleration is dead it's flat if you feel like if you push the accelerator down you'll stop the engine so you've got to hold it there until the car picks up speed and then once it's up around the corner car warms up a bit and it's absolutely fine. So what I think it is, it's the potentiometer on the side of the air intake and we're going to have a look and change that. Right, this is our potentiometer down here and uh, to get at the screws and that we're going to have to remove the fuel line from the pressure damper down here and unbolt the damper just to get it out of the way so we can get at the screws. Also there is two little covers over the screw holes that we've got to lever out with a screwdriver there. So I'll take off the damper now and uh, I'll put some rags down just to catch any spilt fuel. Okay I've uh, taken off the fuel lines there, I've unbolted the uh, pressure damper. I've taken the electrical lead off, whoops not that, anyway. The, the plug off down here and taken off the covers over the screws on the side. The next thing I'm going to do is get a little bit of paint and just mark exactly where this current uh, potentiometer is because the adjustment is on the screws. It has slots on those screws and you, and you move this potentiometer up and down. So I'm just going to make sure I can keep it close as what I can to the position that it's in once I take it off and screw the new one on. Yeah, I just put a little bit of paint along there so when I take it off I'll be able to uh, see that line and hopefully get the other one close to where this one is. I've uh, moved the damper out of the way so I can get to those screws there. I think I've got a bit of a problem here getting these screws. I've unbolted the, the air regulator thing over here. Anyway, I'll take this off and put the other one on. Right, I've taken the uh, potentiometer off and I don't know if you can see down inside there, there's two brushes that uh, you don't want to touch at all that rub up and down the potentiometer. This is your potentiometer and you can see the two areas there where the brushes rub and what happens they wear. But I took this outside and put it underneath a magnifying glass and I can't see any actual wear on it so maybe I'm backing the wrong horse but in any case I'm going to put my other potentiometer on and uh, see what happens. Now here is the dilemma of it all. To uh, access these screws I've had to take the damper off under the air regulator here for idle speed and that. So I can get the screwdrivers in to get onto these screws. The, what you're supposed to do now is back wire pins one and two from the top. Uh, put it all back together leave these semi-tied so you can move the uh, potentiometer up and down slightly, ever so slightly. Run the engine, once it's all back together, warm it up and then you come back, put back wire these two with the electrical pin on it and uh, with your multimeter get 0 0.70 volts and uh, you got to do that and then you know you're correct and then you take it off again and then you tighten up your nuts again. Well I had so much trouble with these nuts and screws. I'm not going to do that I'm, and uh, I've put it back as you can see in the same position as the old one so I'm just going to put it together and try it and hopefully if it works it works. If it doesn't then I'm going to have to pull out the multimeter and have another crack. Well, I just took the car for a run around the block. I'm not going to play with it anymore. 
it uh, started fine, idles fine, and seemed to have more pickup on a cold takeoff. So uh, seeing my wife now drives this car and I drive the 450, uh, I'll wait for her response. Uh, I think the cars are handling a lot better. By the way, that part I put on cost me $11.95 US, come from China. And uh, those uh, potentiometers are up to $300 US. And uh, I thought, well, for the sake of $11.95, I can buy one every year uh, for quite a while to get up to the $300 one. I'll let you know how good the, the product is, whether it lasts or not. I'll keep the old one as a spare. Okay.